Mystery recapped here. Today, I'm going to explain a science fiction film called The Mandela Effect. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. That day, a game maker named Brendan, his wife, Claire and their daughter named Sam, are on vacation to a beach. The three of them enjoy being together, full of happiness, jokes, and laughter. While they are relaxing, Sam intends to look for snails around the beach, and she promises not to play in the water. Claire agrees on the condition that Sam doesn't go too far from their sight. When Sam is busy looking for snails, she doesn't realize that the waves drag her curious George. Sam tries to take the doll, but unfortunately, she is dragged along by the waves. Sam's death makes Brendan and Claire feel very sad. Claire tries to move on, but Brendan, who loves his daughter very much couldn't just let her go. While they are packing Sam's things, Brendan accidentally sees a book titled The Berenstain Bear, he feels odd because he clearly remembers that the book was previously titled The Berenstain Bear with an E, instead of an A. When they are sleeping, suddenly a strange sound comes from the kitchen, and it turns out to be Matt, his brother-in-law, who comes to look for food in the refrigerator. Brendan then gives him some pizza, and he also asks Matt about the book The Berenstain Bear. Matt replies that the book is titled The Berenstain Bear, with the letter E, but Brendan shows Matt that the correct writing is the Berenstain Bear with the letter A. Out of curiosity, Brendan tries to find it on the internet, and it turns out that there are many people who think that the writing in the book is the Berenstain Bear, with an E. Brendan continues to look for information about it until he finally finds a theory that explains the incident, namely the Mandela Effect theory. The next day, Brendan is confused by the photo of his family on the refrigerator. He asks his wife where the photo was taken and Claire replies that it was taken in front of the Griffith Observatory, but Brendan is very sure that they didn't take photos in that place, instead, they took pictures at the Pacific Science Center in Seattle. His wife doesn't respond and tells him to leave because she is busy cooking. Brendan then goes to see Matt and talks about the Mandela Effect theory. Brendan feels that he is experiencing the Mandela Effect phenomenon, but Matt denies and says that the phenomenon is just false memory. But Brendan still believes in his theory and believes that he now lives in a parallel universe. Brendan continues to explore these theories, and then he sees on the form that the Mandela effect is caused by an experiment with a Large Hadron Collider created by CERN. The experiment is conducted in 2008 in Russia, and at the same time, many people experience strange phenomena, one of which is the Mandela effect. Brendan then tries to go to a priest named Isaac, to find out about the existence of God. But after listening to Isaac's words, Brendan doesn't believe that God has created this world. Seeing Brendan's strange behavior, Claire tries to remind Brendan not to stick with past memories with Sam. She wants Brendan to forget the past and live a new life. He then asks his wife about the picture of the guy in the Monopoly. Claire firmly believes that the guy's image in Monopoly is wearing a monocle on one side of his eye. When she checks it, it turns out that the guy's image is not using a monocle. Furthermore, Brendan also points out that the monkey character Curious George doesn't actually have a tail. But the Curious George doll that Sam has a tail. Brendan tries to explain that all of these relate to the theory of the Mandela effect. Brendan feels that Sam's death at that time is just another parallel universe version that enters the current world and then shifts to the actual events. But Claire is angry and disappointed with Brendan, who only cares about himself with strange theories, making them unable to move on. Even so, Brendan remains convinced that the Mandela effect exists. Brendan then studies the theory deeper. He discovers that the Mandela effect could occur due to other parallel universes being mixed into the world he is currently living in. Parallel universes themselves are numerous, and each parallel universe contains another version of the current life story. He feels most likely Sam is still alive in another parallel universe. In the end, he finds the name of a scientist named Dr. Roland Fuchs, who also believes that this world is just a simulation. Brendan then tries to see Dr. Roland, but he is too busy at the time. The next day, Brendan tries to see him again. There the two of them have a chat about Roland's research. The doctor explains that his research shows that the universe is a computer simulation designed for an unknown purpose. The simulation then creates new simulations with a different version of the story every second. The Mandela effect experienced by Brendan is a form of bug, or a mix between the current simulation and other simulations. That's what causes life to go wrong. From Roland's explanation, Brendan also concludes that if a program forms this world, he could change the program by using script coding, so that the world runs properly without any bugs. But it looks like he can't do that if he only uses an ordinary computer. Dr. Roland also agrees that they can't change the world with just an ordinary computer with very low specifications. Roland then shows Brendan that he and his team have made the first quantum computer stored in one university. 
Dr. Roland then explains that there's a possibility that Brendan's program could be run using the quantum computer. Brendan then decides to look for books on quantum computer programming and start coding scripts based on them. He also combines some of his game programming code with quantum code so that he manages to create a new script. The next day, Brendan is surprised by the presence of Sam, who is already at their house. At first, he thinks that it is just his imagination, but in the end, he believes that he is the one who brings Sam back from the parallel world. Without wasting time, Brendan then takes advantage of it by having fun with his daughter. Brendan is happy because he manages to shift the story of Sam's death with another parallel version. But at that time, Brendan begins to feel strange about Claire's behavior. He realizes that in the parallel version he sees now, Sam is still alive, but Claire becomes a very stressed woman. Suddenly, Brendan goes straight to Dr. Rollin, but he is shocked when he hears the news that Rollin committed suicide two months ago. He feels that the script he entered caused an extraordinary Mandela effect. Realizing a bug in the script, Brendan immediately decides to make a coding script to run the command to reinstall the universe. The reinstallation aims to make the universe runs normally without any bugs like the Mandela effect. Brendan doubts the script, he is worried that the universe would be destroyed and could not be recreated. But for the sake of his daughter and wife, Brendan decides to go to the facility where the quantum computer is and then start entering his coding script. Brendan manages to run his script, and the quantum computer then shows signs of reaction. Brendan immediately rushes away, but he sees all the cars in the parking lot are missing. On the bus, he sees that everyone is starting to glitch. He sees the buildings also glitch. Brendan then goes to see his family, and he sees that the situation has gone awry. He sees his wife glitches, and the building turns dark. In the end, he sees two moons colliding, and finally, the whole universe disappears into the darkness. A moment later, Brendan's script suddenly runs again, and the world began to reform. Planets, microbes, viruses, sea animals, humans, and entire cities are now back to normal without any other glitches, including the Mandela effect. Then the scene returns when Brendan, Claire, and also Sam are at the beach. When Sam goes looking for snails, Brendan calls Sam and tells her to leave the curious George doll, which looks like it doesn't have a tail anymore. Finally, as Sam goes looking for snails, Brendan keeps an eye on his daughter. And the movie ends. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.